inflation is such a hot topic. And as you said, I think, um, you know, from a day to day spending side, I think we're all aware that uh, prices have gone up. I think from the investment side, you know, if you're looking further out to so the next year or so, I think the market is is generally in agreement. And I think that's why why yields are a bit lower, is that this is going to be something which fades over time. Right. It is driven by supply side shortages. Typically, they do ease out. Um, but having said that, if you're if you have a portfolio right now, you have to be on top of the inflation risk. Um, so you need to have some kind of hedging in place. Um, our favorite way of doing this is looking at real estate. You know, real assets generally very good, but I think energy tends to be very volatile. So I think for us, the preferred way is look at real assets, a great diversifier against equities and bonds, as well as that bit of a hedge against inflation. See, see if that if the inflation, you know, tomorrow with that CPI, if that proves to be the short term peak, what changes would you make to your portfolios under the, you know, under the view that maybe in fact inflation is transitory? So tomorrow, you know, I, I think that there's a fair risk that we'll see higher than expected inflation, right? Now, if inflation fades out very quickly, that's going to be, I think, a, a, maybe a concern for markets if you see inflation uh, falling very rapidly below expectations. Um, now, I don't think that's very likely given all the base effects, given all the supply side shortages we've been talking about. But I think what that would do is concern markets, right? We've seen monetary policymakers, fiscal policymakers throw everything that they have um, over the last two years. And if they still can't create inflation of at least the level they're, they're hoping to create, um, that would be a, a major concern. Well, let's talk a little bit about, you know, those monetary policy makers. Um, you know, Seema, we're going to get a Fed meeting next week. Uh, we're expected to get updated projections from the Fed, as well as, you know, of course, a, a press conference with Chair Powell. Um, right now, the market seems to be of the view that the Fed is not going to be able to hold its nerve. Um, but I mean, if you kind of look at the tenure, maybe folks are starting to rethink that. How do you guys kind of come down on that issue? Yeah, I think, you know, they, they, you know the Fed speakers, they've clearly they've been out in force over the last few weeks, really emphasizing the fact that they, they, they recognize that there is higher inflation, but they're not too concerned about it because it should fade out. So I think the market is now coming around to this, this kind of view. But I also think that we, we should expect, at least for bond markets, for it to be pretty range bound over the summer months. Now, towards the end of summer, which is when markets are starting to anticipate that Powell will talk more openly about tapering, that's when you could see some of that, that upward pressure coming through in yields. But at least for the time being, there, there's a bit of stability.